In this video, we're going to look for a general matrix which represents the reflection in a line y is equal to mx. So here we have a line y is equal to mx. At the moment, m is 0 0.5. But we, what we've got to remember is that m is the same as the tangent of the angle that this line makes with this uh, axis here. So, if we reveal the Im image, this is the image that you get if you reflect the unit square. Now, the important points are this one here, which is 1, 0 on the original shape and 0, 1 here. Now, 1, 0 will be reflected to this point here. And we'll look at why it's these coordinates in a minute. And 0, 1 will be reflected to this point down here if this is the mirror line. Now, if we add some lines of construction, i.e. we drop down this here, we have a right angle triangle here. Now, this angle here will be tan of the angle. At the moment, the angle is set to 26.6 for this value of m. Which means if this if this line is if this angle here is twenty six point twenty six point six, then this angle here will also be twenty six point six. Because because the line here is actually uh points on this line here are reflected to here. So this here will be, all of this angle here will be 2 theta. So the x coordinate of this particular point here will be cos of 2 theta. The y coordinate will be sine of 2 theta. And they're both positive at this point because this is positive and this is positive. Now for this one point here, we need to put, draw in this line here, so this, we can use this right angled triangle here. Now this angle here is 2 theta. The reason being is that this angle here is 90 degrees. So this angle here will be 90 minus 2 theta. And then if you do 90 minus 2 theta again, 90 minus, two, 90 minus 2 theta, you'll get this angle here being 2 theta. So, the x coordinate will be the sine of this angle, so it'll be the sine of 2 theta. The y coordinate, because it's below the axis here, will be minus cos 2 theta, because this will be cos of 2 theta. Don't forget these are all 1, which makes that very easy to find the uh, coordinates. And therefore, if we want the uh, matrix, what we do is we'll take the cos 2 theta, sine 2 theta. So if we want to want the matrix, okay, so I'll just, I'll just remove the image a minute so I can get the matrix back. Okay, if we now want the matrix, what we do is we take this one and this one. So this point has gone to here. So 1, 0 has gone to cos uh, 2 theta, sine 2 theta. So we write it as a vector, cos 2 theta, sine theta. And uh, 0, 1 has gone to being sine 2 theta minus cos 2 theta. Again, we write it as a vector, sine 2 theta minus cos 2 theta. And then these are the particular values for this particular angle of uh, 26.5. 6, which you get when m is equal to 5. Okay, we don't really need to see the construction if we want to move it around a bit. Okay, so you can see we can move it around, we can make it negative. Okay, and it will give me the uh, matrix here. All these values here. Okay, so this has been, this is the format of a um, matrix which represents a reflection in the line y is equal to mx okay the geogebra applet i will put in the notes of this uh, video i hope you've understood and i thank you very much for watching